Okay, so let's talk about the cost of waiting to buy a home in 2022. Exactly. What could you be missing out on if you do make the decision to wait? My name is Lane. I'm Scott. And let's dive into it. Okay, so what we like to look at is we like to look at where things are today, interest rates, and then put in where we feel that things are going to go in 2022. Now, if you look at the previous couple of weeks, this is the perfect timing for this video because we did our predictions on the interest rates. We did our predictions on home purchase pricing. Yep. We're going to put those together, apply those predictions to uh, today's current value in interest rates. Absolutely. So if you're a buyer out there or thinking of buying a home in 2022, this is the video for you. And this is... This might be costly if you wait. And let's get into these numbers. Okay. So today for Orange County single family detached home, the average price home is one million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Now, if we take all the predictions, mm -hmm. about apply about a seven percent appreciation for next year. By the end of twenty twenty two, that means that the average price home for uh, Orange County single family detached is going to be a million two hundred and thirty thousand five hundred. Correct. Okay. Now applying a million one hundred and fifty thousand, we're going to assume that you're putting twenty percent down. Um, the interest rate today's interest rate is about three point one percent. Your monthly mortgage payment is thirty nine twenty nine per month. Okay. Q four twenty twenty two. If we think interest rates are going to go up, let's just use four percent as mm -hmm. a, you know, yeah. a, an estimate. A million two hundred thirty thousand at a four percent mortgage interest rate is forty seven hundred dollars a month. So that's a $771 per month difference. Mm -hmm. Now, if you also apply, um, if you also apply tax, property tax, because you, there's a percentage on that price, Yes. okay, it's gonna go up a little bit as well. So you're looking over the course of that loan, that 30 year loan, uh, close to $280,000. That's crazy. Now, most people don't stay in their houses that long. We know the stats are anywhere from seven to 10 years here in Orange County. I'm going to throw in a couple of other factors to that that we need to be thinking about. Number one, there is some benefit because we have some tax write-off financial incentives that are available out there for your mortgage mortgage interest. But we also want to look at, Lane mentioned single family homes. We also want to look at condominiums or homes and planned unit developments where we have one or up to three associations. We talked about in our previous videos how much inflation is impacting everything. With inflation, these association dues are bound to go up. I have never seen an association dues drop. So your monthly housing expenses are also going to increase by those association payments. Because with inflation, how much, and let's say you're, you live in an association where the roofs need, roofs need to be replaced, mm -hmm. or like maybe there's some landscaping services, those services are not going to go down in cost. So what are they going to have to do to combat those costs? That's exactly right. Yeah, no, that's a great, great point there. So uh, we're to, like the numbers I gave out, those were for single family details. I know they homes. were, yeah. So like they might even be a little bit more of an exponential growth um, yeah. for those particular condos. So again, it's uh, seven, about $780 a month yeah. using the averages um, is what it's going to cost you if you wait yeah. to buy a house in 2022. Exactly. And I love um, a closing uh, fact that one of our resources called Keeping Current Matters used in their recent article on this topic. And it says, when asking if you should buy a home, you're going to look at two different factors. One are the non-financial benefits. What are the non-financial benefits of owning a home? That's just, you know, getting some more space getting out of an apartment, perhaps going from a carport to a garage. Look at those kind of creature comforts, how your lifestyle will change. That's a little bit more of a subjective choice. But then the second point, which Lane just made so clearly, is when asking when to buy, it's clear that the sooner, the better. Yeah, especially when we're talking about 2022. So if you know that you want to buy a home in the next 12 months, now might be the time to have those conversations because it could cost you $780 a month. Absolutely. We know what we know now. We don't know what the future is going to hold. All right. We'd love to hear your comments, questions, suggestions. We're here to help. We love bringing you these videos. We love providing you with value. So stay tuned next week when we bring you another Real Estate Home Beat. Absolutely. And please share those comments with us so we can make these more informative and better. Talk to you soon.